How you doing Aries? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Aries, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. You have this beautiful energy about to manifest for you, but before this manifestation comes to fruition, I do see here that your angels are reminding you to be resilient. Really, don't take no for an answer because some of you may feel as if you are overwhelmed or you're really trying to push or grind or effort your way through something, but understand that the light at the end of the tunnel is there and that things are going to change for you. And right now, the universe will gift your desires because the universe always rewards those who reward themselves. So you put a lot of time and energy and effort into something, it is going to pay out. I see here that your investment and time could be potentially in a relationship. I see you invest a lot of time and energy into a relationship with someone else or even with yourself. But I do see here that you are going to find this new profound sense of passion, love, loyalty, commitment, this new energy about you that's so magnetic that is drawing in other people that have the same vibration as well. And I see here, I see you here quantum entangling with this vibration, not only because it's something that is natural to you, but this is who you truly are. Like you don't have a bad bone in your body. Aries, know who you are. You're a beautiful soul filled with unconditional love. You have nothing but happiness to offer people, but unless you know what you bring to the table, it is going to be hard for them to want to uh, participate in the energy that they are unaware of, right? Like for example, imagine if you have this product and this product is going to help change the world, but imagine unless you are aware you have this product, how is someone else supposed to know you have it as well? So right now, if we're getting caught up in the energy of the familiar past, if we're getting caught up with the energy of, you know, a predictable future, that siphons energy away from the present moment. And right now, Spirit is telling me that this feeling of something being off or wrong is really because we're not fulfilling our higher self, right? We're not, you know, honoring our soul. We're not focusing on what it is we truly need deep down within. You know, in this third dimension, this, this, the dimension of particle and matter, we think we need a big house, big car, you know, stuff, purses, you know, belts, watches, whatever. And that stuff is great and all, but at the end of the day, you know, whether you have a hundred million dollars on a yacht or whether you are someone that, you know, lives in a studio apartment, both of you are looking for happiness. That's it. And happiness is the, the really the number one priority everyone wants. So whether you're sitting on a yacht in San Tropez and trying to figure out how to be happy or whether you are you know, trying to figure out how to be happy in our current situation, might as well figure that out right now. And your happiness does not come from you owning anything. Trust me when I tell you that. Having money is great because it is the currency, it buys us currency of time. Like you have the luxury of being comfortable, but it's not happiness. There's a big difference. And right now, the more that you are focusing, your angels and guides are telling you on doing things that are attracting the higher vibrational energy of being grateful, thankful, excited, the sooner you will actually get what you're looking for as far as outcome. So if the outcome is being rich, if the outcome is being with your soulmate, don't tell yourself, I will be happy when. Tell yourself, I am happy now. So ask yourself, what makes you happy? Like I know for me, what makes me happy is when I feel as if I accomplished something, making 1% progress, you know, being better than I was yesterday. This is what makes me happy. Everyone else has their own different happiness, right? Maybe for, for you, your happiness is really uh, spending more time and getting to know yourself, right? But I promise you what happiness is not is Instagram likes, right? That is fear. What happiness is not is, you know, trying to, you know, get more debt, you know, and whatever, they keep buying stuff we don't need. And these are all things that I think we could all agree on. And right now it's like, put down the handle of fear and instead pick up the handle of love. Speaking of the handle of love, you got horse spirit. Look at this card. Wow, isn't she the best ever? And right now freedom is yours. So again, your guides are telling you that Happiness is freedom. Freedom is having a choice. Choice is not being committed to something that you don't want to be a part of. Ask yourself this, do you have to go to your job or do you choose to go to your job? And you may tell yourself, well, yeah, of course, like I gotta go, I have to go to my job because I have to pay off my bills. 
But do you have to go? You could always go bankrupt as well, but do, but you choose to go to your job. You choose to go to your job to get a paycheck to be able to pay off your bills. Just knowing that it's a choice, right? That makes it so much better than feeling like you have to do something. And when you look at it from that perspective, having that choice, it makes life much, much more enjoyable. And right now you're getting the reminder from your angels and guides that freedom is yours. Really look at it from that perspective. Now you get the six of wands and you get the six of swords. So that is a synchronicity right here. And your guides are telling you that victory will be yours the moment that you let go of the familiar past. And that familiar past is siphoning energy away from the present. It is time to create change. It is time to open, be open to the invitation of doing something new. Letting go of doing the same old, same old, but instead being in love with the story, the vision of the future. Really understanding that the change that you're looking for is something that's organic and natural and exciting and being thankful and grateful for it, not resisting it, right? And what that really means is like, if you want to get rich, how are you going to do so? Ask yourself this, like, have you ever thought of, you know, how much money do you need to be able to pay off your bills? 10 million in today's age, right? If you want to spend like 500 bucks a day living in the way you comfortably want to, um, that works out to basically like 10 mil. Now, with that being said, you know, how are you going to make, you know, that money? Are you going to make it through an inheritance, a bonus, a promotion at the company you're currently with? Are you going to start your own business? You're going to have to backtrack and work your way to how to make that money. And for me, I noticed that I'm going to be able to create a product and I have a couple things going that I'm going to be able to use to be able to create that sort of wealth. Now, how did I come up with the idea of these products? They came in the form of a download, right? I was like, whoa, that's a great idea. How did I get that download? I was in a position in my life where I was mindless and open to receive. I was not efforting, grinding, forcing, but I was just being myself, that vibrational being. And when you're that vibrational being, then you're shown the way. And right now your angels and guides are telling you with owl spirit that you are going to see clearly now because you are going to stop focusing on the things that don't matter, but instead focusing on the things that are paying dividends in your life. I know for me, how I am open to, uh, to, to receive is when I... I'm um, taking some time and automatic writing, a little bit of journaling, or I'm waking up and I'm visualizing what it is I'm looking for, or I'm tapping into my higher self, like I'm seeing everything out of my third eye and out of my heart, rather than looking outwards, I feel like everything is coming to me. I, I literally draw everything to me. Right now, as I'm watching, I'm looking at this camera, as I'm doing this reading, I'm having the camera zhut come to me rather than me go outwards. Anything that when you're projecting outwards, you're causing resistance. And, and, and energy is always, you know, moving, right? It's never created, it's never destroyed, lost thermodynamics. So draw energy to you. How do you draw energy to you? Be magnetic. How do you become magnetic? Be happy. That is the source within. So by focusing Focusing on that and not focusing outwards, you're not going to be pushing energy away, you'll be drawing it to you. All right, Aries, so final message from the universe. Universe, final message for Aries. What should Aries focus on right now? Well, cards are sticky today, Aries. Let's do one more shuffle. Ah, final message for Aries. Wow, look at this card. Catch your breath. What a lovely card. And this is number 15. So take a break and enjoy a quiet period. This time can be used to regroup, recover, stabilize yourself. It is wise to keep in mind the fact that this is for a limited period of time. So enjoy. You are pausing to regain your footing. As you evaluate your environment, check to see if you need to clear any ill will with anyone. Ask for forgiveness and be willing to forgive as necessary to move forward. Enjoy this downtime. Acknowledge the importance of recharging your energy so you can be refreshed and ready to tackle life and any challenges that come your way. Slow it down, smell the roses. Celebrate the small victories. Give yourself a pat on the back. This is the energy from the universe right now telling you to really be in the present moment. When you're going for a walk and you see some beautiful clouds, Stop and just look at the clouds, stare at them, see the beauty in them. When you're looking at the sunset, enjoy being the present moment. You don't need to whip out the phone, take a picture, share it with people. Just be in that present moment. That right there is what life is about. Life is short and in the blink of an eye, life will come and go. So enjoy while it's here. 
and look at everything from the abundant mind state and easily let go of the scarcity that is not even there. It's nothing more than an illusion. And right now, focus on the abundance and watch more of that, those opportunities make their way into your life. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.